Now, there's one other way I want to show how to output your files, and that is when you highlight the files you want to export, right? You can go to the output panel, and this changes the way everything looks. It'll show you if there's ones you didn't select, they'll be down here not selected. And you can tell it to export to a PDF. For me, this is the way I print students' works. Now, one of the things that we have to do is have the name at the bottom. Well, if I choose PDF and I tell it to do, I'm going to leave it at 2x2 two two for a second. I'm going to choose my paper. I'm going to say U.S. paper, letter, 85 by 11 I'm going to scroll down. The quality is 300 PPI. That's good. You want 300 pixels per inch. And I'm going to make it 100 percent quality because I'm printing these and I can change the number of columns and rows to one by one and I can even have it have the file name on the document I'm gonna turn off the extension and make the file name a little bigger now let's view this PDF now you can add headers and all sorts of things and I'll let you play with those but I just want you to see how you can do this. I'm going to save it here to my pictures folder. I'm going to call it test PDF. It's going to generate that PDF. And let's see how that looks. And you'll see now one of the things it did is it see how there's a lot of space there a lot of space this tall one looks good but well to fix that what you want to do is just make sure that you rotate for best fit now when you do that it's gonna rotate to landscape or portrait mode so anyway it's a quick way to make a PDF document if you were gonna enlarge a whole bunch of pictures all at once uh, like you wanted to do a print spanning we can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and save this again. Save over the existing file. And we'll wait for that to process through. And now they're going the right way and the, the, the name's on the end. Now, one of the things you could do is then when you go to print that, you go to File and Print. And when you bring up your printer, you can choose poster mode and when you do it in poster mode you can tell it to scale these okay so now this is 11 by 17 it becomes 11 by 17 I can increase this number let's make it be 400 percent so it's a lot bigger so there it's printing over one, two, three, four by one two three four five six so that's 24 sheets of paper put together. So that picture is very big. You can tell it to just do a little bit, like 200%. Let's see how big that ends up being. So that's uh, six pictures put together. And it's going to overlap a little bit. I'm going to tell it to overlap a little more than this. Um, let's see. How about overlap a quarter of an inch? Okay. So what that means is the pictures are going to overlap by a quarter of an inch. Now, it'll still use the same size. Now, what this does is this makes it to where you can take a picture and make it really big. Now, the cool thing also is that it's going to do it for each of these. So it would print out all my pictures really big all in a row, and I could cut them out and then use them for any particular situation. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and close that out. Last thing I wanted to show you was a quick web gallery. If you click on web gallery, it'll create a gallery for you that is a web page through and through, ready to go. There are all sorts of settings in here you can play with. There are different themes, uh, different styles. Uh, let's see. Let's do Lightroom Flash Gallery. Let's see what that looks like, and we'll go ahead and hit save. Oh, wait. Save location. I need to tell it where that is. Let's see. Scroll down, save location, we'll put that into and pictures and click OK. Save location, gallery, let's see, let's make a new folder called gallery and we'll click OK. 
All right, so, and we'll go ahead and out to let it save. It'll actually even upload it to an FTP server. I mean, this thing's awesome. And we'll click OK. And then let's browse back to that one and pull up that gallery. And there's a web page right there. And it's going to take a moment to load. And we have a nice little Lightroom gallery here where you can expand the pictures, go back and see the pane, flip through them. Nice little website ready to go. So I'll let you play with some of those settings in there to see how that works, but it creates a website for you in two seconds. With that, we're done with the exporting, and I hope to check out some more raw stuff later on and have fun with this.